What is good? What is good? People of YouTube, people that follow this YouTube channel, thank you guys first and foremost for following this YouTube channel. Um, I got a lot to cover and various things that I just want to say at the beginning. So I guess also th thank you guys first of all. Oop, sorry for that, a little bit excited there. Thank you guys first of all for following the channel. And then next I want to say that I'm about like two weeks behind on the content that I want to get to you guys because I'm working on some other things as um, if you guys have followed the last few videos that I posted, you guys know that I'm working on a pretty cool project that might entail a lot of different things. So you may hear me begin to discuss certain other topics on this channel like cryptocurrencies for example I might start talking more about software um and things like that that's all I know for now but that list might expand in the coming weeks months etc so yeah there's that and then also I want to say before I get to the script I think that we're due for the collapse of several governments around the world, I think. If you guys have watched the news today, you know that the Afghanistan, the Afghan government has fallen, that the US was basically supporting for the last 20 years. You could call it like a proxy government they set up pretty much because that's kind of essentially what it was. There was no real government in that in Afghanistan, I don't think, for the past 20 years, was basically just the US military, it seems like, attempting to train people to be in government, keeping up a puppet democracy. Up, I don't know all the details, cause I haven't looked into it, but it just seems like we were, we were propping up a government there and trying to prop up their military, and we backed out, and immediately as we backed out, um, the Taliban just overrun they overran the government. The president that we that we buoyed up there, he just dipped. He like basically fleed, which I don't blame the guy. Um, he probably didn't really have much of a grip on the country anyway in the first place. You know, like I'm pretty sure that was completely propped up by the U.S. But the Taliban just completely took over that that government. You're seeing protests in various states around the country very or various countries around the world states around the world word to road and revenge what's the difference between state nation country all that stuff i still don't know but you're seeing revolts in countries around the world revolting against various stuff like covid um revolting against the banks like you see in lebanon or revolting against the government in general like you see in places like cuba um yeah, there's just a lot of different things going on. And I'll get into this in another video because I'm watching a couple documentaries right now. And basically, this isn't the first time, and this probably won't be the last time, that many societies around the world fall at the same time. Because like, we have a globalized system right now. And this hasn't been the first time, and it won't be the last time that there's been a globalized system where all a bunch of countries are just interconnected with each other and get supplies from each other and also fight with each other. So, and have a similar, a similar system that, that like runs the, the country. Like in this, in this era, we kind of have the, the whole central bank, um, the central bank, uh, debt to money kind of system that seems to be running multiple that seems to be the the economic backbone of basically many countries around the world at this time and all of those countries within the past last 50 years since the you know the, the revocation of the gold standard and like not going back to it basically they've been relying on floating with the u.s the US uh, monetary system, it seems like. And as the US monetary system collapses, I'm pretty sure all of these 
you're going to just see more and more tumult across the world with people that have currencies that are based on like the United States has the reserve. And, you know, like we do, like we discuss United States reserve currency, that literally means that these banks, they have their reserves in US dollars. So as the dollar collapses, that's literally a portion of like a whole country's money because they buy treasury bonds. Like we said, they hold these and they have like literal U S money. Like they have United States money as the reserve for their own currency. So as, as the U S dollar falls basically over time, like you're just, you're going to see more and more like tumult across, across the world, I think in countries that base their banking off of the U S and you know this i guess just what i kind of want to say is this isn't the first time that a global system like this has been around and has basically collapsed at the same time in terms of countries across the world and i guess okay going back to that documentary that documentary was about like the bronze age and how the bronze age ended so um yeah, like this isn't, I've yet to finish that documentary, but when I finish it, that I'll make a, I'll create a script about it and like talk about governments around the world falling. But basically I think the implications of that is like you'll have governments around the world that fall, but the individual won't fall. Like, and it, if anything, the individual will be very important moving forward. I think, I think it's subconscious too. We're seeing all of this focus on the individual all this individualism going on you could say oh it's thanks to the technology um, making people narcissistic and all that stuff you could say this or that but i think a lot of this is subconscious because even though people don't know the details we all kind of realize that the kind of the systems the globalized network all of that is kind of crumbling day by day almost it's if you really want to if you really follow the news it seems seemingly day by day it's like those foundations are crumbling so people realize okay so i'm gonna have to like survive on my own or not necessarily on my own but i'm gonna be an important role i'm gonna play a way more important role in my survival than previous generations have had to play in their own survival that makes sense because a lot of those pre a lot of people in those previous generations they always thought of they relied on like they thought this system the system just wasn't as like broken down as it is now so they to whatever extent relied on some aspect of the system to to cover them in in a way now you have people that realize that that whole system won't even be there. So it's going to be up to them. They're going to have to play a bigger role in sustaining their own selves and ensuring their own survival. That makes sense. This is a good thing in some respects, because I think we're going to see the return of bigger families eventually. Because, I mean... Once people realize, okay, it's up to me, they're going to be going to get, going to get other people to help them. Um, I mean, just common sense. So you're probably going to see like bigger families, uh, things like that. And all of you like MGTOW people, a return of the like power of the word of men is going to, I think that's going to return and like things like that but i'll get into that in that video because that's technically not the topic of this video i spent a good amount of time just talking about that but i wanted to say that at the start because i don't know when that video is going to come out but i think that's important to say so like don't give up hope in general is my conclusion to this intro don't give up hope and like work on if you're like stacking money right now work on definitely continue to stack that money but again i don't know how valuable that money is going to be in the future but like stack those skills i would say that's the most important thing stack those skills especially those skills that are going to be useful to help your survival and also help 
any upcoming community that happens, like if you can help other people, because then you'll be valuable in that next, that next um, society, like however that ends up building. And you could probably even help build it up, which is actually kind of what I'm trying to do. So like focus on those skills that will kind of keep you relevant. Stack the money if you're stacking that money right now. Um, and definitely just find stuff that you like doing. I think that's going to be very important. Just find stuff you like doing and like that's going to end up being really helpful to you, I think. And not even just helpful. It's just going to make your life pretty dang good, I think. But yeah, okay, that that's it for that intro. Let me get to this script here before I get to like half an hour long video. MGTOW is being targeted by YouTube now. Federated Learning of Cohorts. So, another day, another smoky day. It is definitely smoky out here. Can't see the sun. Can't see the blue sky at all. It's all smoky here. Coming at you from Sacramento, California. So in this one, we're going to discuss something you all probably know, but nevertheless, I'm noticing it happen on my channel, so I'll give you guys my perspective on it. We know that certain terms are being watched and targeted by social media platforms the world over. Remember that many of these platforms receive recurring funding from governments worldwide. Another thing, as, as these governments collapse, you know the deal. Um, get ready for that, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be pretty interesting. We've discussed treasury bonds already in previous videos on this channel, and we'll get to municipal and corporate bonds in later videos. Um, just because that that's interesting once you guys kind of see how that stuff works you're gonna be you're gonna understand what I mean when I say like recurring funding from governments around the world so we already know about look-alike audiences from a Facebook Instagram and WhatsApp perspective they use the term look-alike audiences and federated learning of cohorts from a Google YouTube and alphabet perspective they use that term federated learning of cohorts but these are basically kind of like two two different words to describe the same thing. What these are are distinct groups that individual identities on the web are categorized into for purposes of advertising and surveillance. Computer algorithms traverse these web identities, the distinct the distinct groups, and the associated data, and make decisions and perform pre-programmed actions based upon whatever the programming designed. So you can look at Project Jigsaw from Google, as we've talked about um, in, in the previous video that I had on Federated Learning of Cohorts. Um, you can look at Project Jigsaw to get a look into some of the groups that they categorize identities into and some of the actions that are performed. You can also get an overview of the project and its goals, if that is something you're interested in. Type in jigsaw.google.com into your search bar to go to the website. Um, you know, this is this is public stuff. Anybody can look at this. Uh, you can also go to Rob Braxman Tech's YouTube channel to learn more about this stuff, as well as a whole host of other things related to technology. Very interesting channel if you're interested in anything technology, anything surveillance state, or you want to de-Google your phone, de-Android your phone, de-Apple your phone. He has a lot of different things to say about software and hardware and technology in general. So check out his channel. MGTOW, incel, red pill, black pill, all of these terms that you may be familiar with in the so-called manosphere are categories that these algorithms work with. Again, you may notice some of these terms in the titles of my videos. I do that for a reason. You may have noticed that the MGTOW subreddits were banned from Reddit. I believe it was last week. Watch carefully and you may notice that trend continue on other platforms. Here on my channel, I have been noticing the impressions and by extension the views on my videos going down a little bit. Ironically though, the rate of subscribers has gone up slightly. If you extrapolate this phenomenon to society at large, you can gain some insights. The attempted blocking out of the things that men have to say and the targeting of the places in which they say them is happening. 
But at the same time, the strengthening of the messages of these men and the increased amount of people who choose to follow and listen to these same men is also happening. All of this tells me that we're moving in the right direction overall. It is up to us to keep the message alive and keep it spreading around to society at large. And day by day, week by week, month by month, I see this happening. As I've said in early prior videos, I feel like we already won, but a lot of that has to do with what we're doing. And a lot of that honestly has to do with the system itself just kind of collapsing on itself. Um, they're doing a good job of of going down under by themselves. So just, you know, go MGTOW, don't support that system and build up your own thing. And as that collapse occurs, you'll see more and more people start moving to what you're doing. So this system that we find ourselves in appears to be doomed for failure. Just keep spreading the word, building your network and preparing the new society that arises out of this will be built off of what you do today and what you do moving forward into the future. So that's why I say just stay on like building your skill set, building your network, building yourself up in general, building up your mind especially because it may get worse before it gets better. As I've been kind of telling some of my friends on Discord, it may get worse before it gets better. I'm not sure how everything's going to happen. It seems like it's going to be a slow, drawn-out collapse. And there's going to be various reasons for it, but the younger people aren't going to take up the things that the older people kind of built. Even if we wanted to, there's not enough there for us to work with if that makes sense so more and more people are gonna kind of be going the other way out of almost necessity it kind of the whole MGTOW thing started off as as choice but I think by the end it's going to be out of necessity for a lot of people because there simply is not enough space in that old way of doing things but there there's gonna there's so much space outside of that that it's gonna almost make no sense to not just go out and like try to pioneer your own thing and then start interacting with the other people who've done the same i think that's just gonna be the move later on because there's just simply less and less space in the old way of doing things as that kind of collapses because the old way of doing things involves a lot of government funding all the time and as we can see the government is running out of ways to get money like they're going to tax you by the mile and they're going to try to tax cryptocurrencies so okay that's a whole nother video on its own i just kind of wanted to like as as i learn more about how this previous system has been built up and the government involvement in a lot of things my mind is just blown so i have that's gonna leak into whatever videos i do it seems like from now on because uh, my mind is just completely blown about that and i have to like speak on it at least somewhat and like i'm not there's a lot i have to learn so i'm not getting it 100 percent right but I just have to speak on it as I'm learning it because like or else my head would explode. It'd be like a head, head exploding emoji and that you can, that I've gotten used to using on Discord, the head exploding emoji. So yeah. Okay. Um, there's that. That's the video for today. I may do another video like i said i'm like literally two weeks behind and there's a lot of things to cover but there's also a lot of things to do in in real irl so um bear with me thank you guys for following the channel thank you to those 30 percent of viewers who stay and watch the whole video that's crazy even at my ramblings my on script and off script ramblings you guys stay all the way through that so thank you guys for that don't give up hope by any means 
it looks crappy now, but I'm telling you, go into those places that have growth to them, whether it's cryptocurrencies and all those places that have growth, you have to still sift through some BS like I'm doing with cryptos. A lot of it's doomsday, but there's a lot of growth to be had. So go to those areas where there's like growth. Um, yeah, like just, that's what I'm saying, just so you don't lose hope, because a lot of this losing hope stuff, a lot of that has to do with the fact that there's simply not enough space for people in certain areas of society, but then they haven't realized, like, you need to realize that there is an abundance of space in other areas. So you're, you're going to have to move around and figure out what you like. And then once you figure out what you like, you're going to have to go deep into that and figure out where is the space. Because there's a lot of space out there. There's there's a ton of space out there. But you, you might just have to find it a little bit. Like, you might just have to look for it. And once you find it, you're going to be like, wait, I have, like, so much stuff to do that it's kind of overwhelming and that's why I say you know build up yourself and build up your mind because you got to be a holistic person moving forward um I think that is the crux of the matter you're going to have to be a holistic person moving forward because you're going to have to rely on yourself a little bit more than these last three-ish generations were used to and we're still early right now we're still early so you're still going to be seen as weird by certain people. But that is changing quickly, though, because as we get further and further into this collapse, which is going to be slow and drawn out, slow and drawn out, I think more and more people are going to be looking for different answers and different things to do. So those people that they see as weird now, like us, for example, are going to be the ones who ironically you know, they're going to be looking to in the future. And I'm, I'm pretty sure this always happens. I'm pretty sure that always happens. And that's kind of why I just tried to, I'm trying to get ahead of it now. Because I'm pretty sure that literally always happens. So it is what it is. All right, I'll catch y'all later. Peace out from smoky, smoky, smoky Sacramento. Um, hopefully it's clear skies in your area. And all right, that's it for me. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good day, have a good night, have a good sleep whenever you watch this, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.